Hi, my name is Jerry Park. I'm an international student from Korea and also a current graduate student in California State University, LA, majoring in early childhood education. During my study, the question I've gotten the most was, how did you end up here? So I started thinking to myself, yeah, how did I end up here? I did graduate elementary to high school I'm from South Korea, but doesn't that give you a bigger possibility in staying in your home country rather than studying abroad? So I went back, backtracked my life and getting all the way here to the States. And here's the thing, I was terrible at tests during my school years. I hardly got good grades except for English. There was a very low possibility in getting into a decent college and I did not want to wait another year to take the Korean SAT. Luckily, there was a program called 1 plus 3 back then where you go into a Korean college for a year, then transfer to a university in the States and get your degree by studying just for the next three years. The only thing required was, embarrassingly, uh, money. Living in Seocho, which is next to Gangnam. You know, from that song. Open Gangnam Style! Uh, no! 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 <laughs> yeah, you know the song. Money was not a problem. So I got in the program, prepared myself for a year in living in the States, then finally got into Indiana State University, known for Larry Bird uh, and the statue of Larry Bird. There I majored in elementary education. Why education? Because no one wanted to. The people who came with me chose aviation or business because they were told education will be tough even though the school was known for its major. Not knowing what to do, education just seemed fun and challenging, so yeah, why not? I went with teaching. And uh, yeah, I thought everyone else were cowards, so sorry guys. So how was it? Oh my gosh, no one can help me, there's nowhere to escape, why did I choose this? I'm an idiot, how can I change this timeline? It's hard, it's so hard, I slept two hours a day, two hours, oh my god, I'm going- Being the only international student, it was pretty tough to get good grades. I even had to stop everything I was doing during my junior year to go to military, which made things even harder for me to show decent academic achievements later when returning. But hey, I did graduate. The reason I came to California State University is because I ISU never had international students studying education during their 100-something years, so they didn't have much knowledge in how to support my visa. They recommended me going to either New York or California where they have more experience with people from other countries. I used to live in New Jersey, so I chose Cali. So here I am almost done with grad school. Uh, it's been about seven years since I've been a student in the States. Now, some might question me if I still want to become a teacher and make a better future for the world. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's funny, because... No. Being able to teach kids is a great privilege, and I would be very honored if anyone would want to hire me. But looking back... I realize teaching is fun, but it's something that doesn't suit me like the people I study with in the classroom. Not only are they very professional, but have these great ideas that seem to only make the kids become better. I, on the other hand, I like to break the rules, try things out, and create stuff. I've made a lot of mistakes to kids during my student teaching years, and that makes me think I'm not the best role model children should have in school. Also. Having no one who can relate to your life makes you pretty lonely and depressing. By the end of my senior year, I wasn't in my best condition both physically and mentally. So, what do I want to do? I still want to help kids out. I'm thinking of applying jobs in companies that make toys, mobile apps, TV shows for kids. And if that doesn't work out, hey, I can just go back to Korea and tutor kids one-on-one. -on -one. Apparently, they're... This is something I did with my cousin through Skype, and my aunt loved it, telling other mothers about me. Which, according to my aunt, they all want me to teach their children at whatever cost. So, I won't be starving to death when I return home. This is a decision that I made recently, so it was pretty tough to accept this thought, since I did spend quite a long time preparing myself in teaching. All my life, I thought, there wasn't another path for me to go, but I realized sometimes you just don't know where you're going to end up and that, you know, anything's possible. The end.